Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a fantastic one, doing some work here at the Red Brick House and handling some business and things, and getting caught up, of course, on all the news that is with the Dallas Cowboys, as well as the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's what's funny to me. Um, is listening to the Eagle fans that are like, why are you always talking about the Eagles and things? And it's kind of like, well, bro, you do know we face each other, right? It's really about the two of us together, okay? Um, you want to know your enemy. You want to know your enemy. And we have some breaking news from Philly 500. And I, I definitely want to share this with you because I find this really cool. Let, let's, let's listen to this. A day of mandatory minicamp just wrapped up, and clearly the defense won the day mm -hmm. and the week. Now, some people are trying to run with the false narrative that somehow Jalen Hurts is struggling and is going to have a bad year. I'm telling you right now, Jalen Hurts is fine. Not even that. I'll take it one step further. Jalen Hurts will throw at least 30 touchdown passes this year. Book it. Oh, my God. Are you serious? 30 touchdown passes? Whoa. That would make him an elite quarterback, wouldn't it? I mean, 30 touchdown passes. He hasn't thrown. Let's go look. Let's look at the numbers. Jalen Hurts. Stats. Because I thought for sure, you know, he's the greatest quarterback since Joe Montana. Because I got to figure that he's had 30 touchdown passes, isn't it? I mean, 30. Let's see. He had six his first year. He had 16 his second year. He had 22 the year that they ran to, uh, went to the Super Bowl and a 101.5 rating. That was really good. Last year, hmm. 23 TDs and 15 interceptions and an 89.1 rating. Hmm. Hmm. But you you don't say he he, he going to hit 30 TDs? That's a lot of TD. That's a lot of TDs. You know, I wish my garbage ass quarterback could hit like, you know, 30 plus TDs in a season. Oh, wait. I think he has. Let me see. Last year he had 36. Now the year before was a, a, a slow year because he did. You, you, you want to hear something funny? You want to hear something extremely funny? Would you believe that Dak Prescott, when he had a broken thumb, he had a broken thumb, had 20 th in, in only 12 games. I think it was 12 games. Had 23 TDs and 15 interceptions and a 91 rating. Which is kind of funny because, you know, Jalen Hurts played all the games last year. And he had 23 touchdowns and 15 interceptions. Just like that guy you call a garbage-ass quarterback, Dak Prescott. Hmm. Hmm. And now you say he going to have 30. Well, Dak, again, has had 36 one year. 23, just like you had last year. 37 the year before. And 30. He's had three years of 30-plus TDs. Huh. Huh. So, I want to say, for those out there who are on the Jalen Hurts bandwagon, I want you to know that what Jalen Hurts did last year, it took him the whole season to get to 23 TDs. Dak Prescott got there with a broken thumb in 12. In 12. With the same number of interceptions. Anyway... My quarterback, Dak Prescott, 
addressed his contract situation and said, you know what? I'm not in a hurry to get paid. It's okay. All you pundits out there, I'm, I'm summarizing now, basically saying all you pundits out there that are talking about, you know, the Cowboys need to hurry and pay. Hey, look, I can gamble. Hey, listen, I'll gamble on myself. He came through and said, <laughs> I'm going to take all my chips, all my chips. I'm going to take all my chips. And I'm going to bet on me. Let's listen to Rich Eisen and what they had to say about Dak Prescott and his contract. Contracts up in the air in Dallas. My God. It's just, it's it's the greatest. I mean, we're, <laughs> honestly, we're here first week of June and his contract like, hasn't been touched. Sort of like Santiago. Santiago. And his, 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 his <laughs> sort of like his clothes in his closet. Hmm. I want to know not why to be, he's, why was it's, he why he's not packed. Nothing's been touched. Okay. He didn't pack a thing. And CD Lamb's not that the mandatory stuff because Justin Jefferson's now the highest paid non quarterback in the league and he's not, um, he's not, uh, at agreement with the Jones family. And then Micah Parsons like, that's okay. I'll wait. Uh, but I just know that when I sign, I'm going to be the highest paid non-quarterback in the league. And that number is only going to go up because I'm assuming CD might be the one to help force it up. But at any rate, what do I know? <laughs> what do <laughs> right? any of us know, really? I know I shouldn't say such a thing into a microphone when I'm hoping you consume this show live on the Roku channel or Rich Eisen Show Terrestrial Radio Affiliate, Sirius XM Odyssey, or our podcast. Uh, you got to be real with the people sometimes, I, I, though, Rich. You I shouldn't even real, say folks. I know. I mean, I shouldn't say the words like, well, what do I know? Yeah. Well, all I know is it's just going to get more expensive as they wait. Yep. And in the case of Dak, you may just flat out lose him completely. And the answer might be, fine, let him go. What has he done? What has he done? All right. Okay, so he beat, uh, what, who, who did he beat in the playoffs? Only Tom Brady. Oh, yeah. Ended his career, didn't he? Mm -hmm. That's Sent the thing. him into like, retirement, didn't, didn't he? Any other quarterback in this <laughs> league would have done that, we'd be swinging from their undercarriage about how great they are, but <laughs> nobody cares when it comes to Dak. They, did they he, win he the would... game because of Dak? Yeah, uh, yes, Chris, they, they did. Sure. Dak... Well, you they, can't take it away. Come on, don't, come yeah, on. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. But they, they don't win because of him, but they lose because of him. By the way, uh, Dak's well. first game return from injury was against Tom Brady and the and the Buccaneers, and he had he had yeah, one like of his four, best games ever. Four hundred yards. He yet. did. See, it was mm -hmm. so good. Uh, I lost because our place kicker. We've been swinging from his undercarriage since. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great phrase. It's tough for me to forget that one. Damn. <laughs> Understood. Well, you don't need to. You don't need Damn. to physically make the maneuver. <laughs> like you're like you're parachuting. You're grabbing onto two whatever I'm just ropes. <laughs> Actually, Dak had four touchdowns in that box. He was really good. He was great. <laughs> At any rate. Two and five in the playoffs. What do I know? So the question is, is how, how is he handling all of it, right? How is he going to handle all of it? And the question is, uh, here, here, here's his answer. <laughs> this is urgent, you should always have, to be honest. Um, so, so maybe guys who normally wouldn't fill it, fill it. Um, so, so I don't mind it. I've um, been in this position before. I'm a gambling man. We'll gamble on myself and, and my guys. So there you go. not actually, guys. I understand. <laughs> I understand you a lot of shit with that. So. <laughs> not that way. Just a hot. So, yeah, that, that being said, uh, yeah, there you go. That's another reason why you should stick around there. I mean, he's used to being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. That is not an easy gig in nope. the NFL or in sports in general. The amount of attention that is on you, the amount of pressure that he likes to say, but he's out. He, by the way, he's out of ways to answer this question now. Yeah. Make fun of it. Seriously. Talk about how it makes diamonds, how I'm betting on myself. That's how I started, you know. I mean, uh, honestly, he's out of ways to answer the question. The only answer is how will the question be posed by an opponent when it's win or go home time in January? Will it be on the road? Will it be at home? What is going to happen in that moment and are the Cowboys best set up for that moment roster wise I'm saying I don't know how much how they're much better than they were at this point last year other than health they're going to be healthier right uh, well it's, we'll see about they're going to be healthier 
That's important. going into week one. I'm just wondering how it will be in week what 19, 20. Because they'll get there. They're going to make the playoffs. And we're just going to see what happens then. And are they equipped roster wise? And would are we going to be looking back at the fun that we had about the the Jerry telethon and timpani and putting up on the board the number of there we go. <laughs> transactions that they had during the free agency period, which was zero for a while and then one for a long time. Are we going to be looking at that moment saying, boy, they could have had that person or that person if they only will. had the cap flexibility created by oh, their own foresight will. to sign the guys that they're going to end up having to sign now anyway? Are we going to have that conversation you know we will. in January or are we going to say Jerry was right? Good Lord, is that going to be something we're talking about <laughs> all the time? And that is it. That I'll is the crux. Jack with you but today. Just, but, but <laughs> other quarterbacks right may together. not be as able to laugh it off, brush it off, and perform as well as Dak is no doubt going to. You know? No doubt going to. But what happens in January? Who's it going to be? Where are they going to be? Who's it going to be against? Boy, I can't wait to fill in those proper nouns in the Mad Lib. I can't wait. Cannot either. wait. Just remember, it wasn't Dak that let Romeo Dobbs get loose for 151 yards. No, I'm receiving. It wasn't Dak hey. who let Aaron Jones get 118 yards. Right, you know, these are just. But, but, a little pushback, a little bit of pushback. No, and you know how you know I cape for Dak quite a bit Did from you? here. Stop it! Stop it! What I just say? Yeah, but how but, many people are? Oh, excuse me. But then there's always no, 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 now these are fights. fighting words. There's always a little uh -oh. paper cut at the uh -oh. end. No, no, come no, on. No, no, now these are fighting words. How many people who sit in a position that I'm sitting in or come out and say Dak's going to have a, a good regular season? Good, he's going to be bad. He's going to be fine, or he's handling this pressure well. No, they're going to just poop all over him and say he stunk. <sighs> the they Dallas Cowboys do. should go and do what they're doing with him. Make make him prove it. Because That's if, my line. I, 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 <laughs> there, there you go. Okay. Of course, everybody's going to poop on Dak. But like I said, so Dak Prescott, a season that they talked about him being ass-ass, had 23 TDs and 15 interceptions, and believe it or not, Jalen Hurts' best touchdown pass season was last year with 15 interceptions. And Philly 500... He's sitting there pounding his chest saying he's going to have 30-plus TDs. Okay. Okay. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, i got some more molding that I'm doing up here, so I'm going to get back to that. And as always, I appreciate you guys, and I really love trolling the Eagles because that's what we do here on Joe Boo Sports Report. And uh, peace out. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? That's no, true. they suck. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. Shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Caleb Carter? It's like they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Caleb Carter? It's like they shit on you. Kill them. <laughs>